For this lesson, I'd like to start with a simple yet deep question. What is the end game for supply chain management and strategy? Think about that for a minute. We know supply chains are incredibly complex systems that require constant monitoring and management. It takes a lot of time, money, effort, and resources to get people from all over the world to communicate, collaborate, and coordinate in a way that delivers value to customers. It's difficult to manage processes and relationships across all these functional areas, corporations, and geographic boundaries. Why do we bother with all these headaches and challenges? Is this supply chain management stuff more trouble than it's worth? And the answer is absolutely not. We bother with supply chain management because it helps firms achieve a competitive advantage. Although I firmly believe this statement is 100% true, I also believe the devil is in the details. So how do we bridge the gap from strategically managing supply chains to actually gaining competitive advantage? Or said another way, how does supply chain management translate to differential firm performance? There are some different ideas on this topic. First, Professor Hao Lee says our supply chains need to be triple A. Second, a team of researchers from Michigan State, they suggest supply chains need to become outcome driven. And last, but certainly not least, there's the world according to Rod view. Let's talk about each of these ideas in more detail. According to Professor Lee, AAA supply chains have agility, adaptability, and alignment. Agility means quickly responding to short-term changes in demand or supply. Adaptability refers to adjusting a supply chain's design to meet structural shifts in markets or modified networks. And alignment, it's all about creating incentives for better performance. With the AAA view, top performing supply chains possess these three distinct qualities that can lead to sustainable competitive advantage. Although Professor Lee suggests that three distinct supply chain qualities lead to competitive advantage, another group of researchers suggests that focusing on six outcomes is a better way to go. They believe that cost, responsiveness, security, sustainability, resilience, and innovation are outcomes that supply chain managers must drive towards. With this approach, firms will only succeed if they understand the needs of key customers and strive to maintain alignment between a supply chain's design and their customer's preference for these key outcomes. I have tremendous respect for both the AAA and outcome-driven perspectives of supply chain management, and they provide some very valuable insights. However, in my view, the best way to outperform the competition in any industry is to simply do things better, cheaper, and faster. The better dimension refers to improving the quality of any attribute that customers value. The cheaper dimension refers to being more efficient and driving down costs. And faster simply refers to cycle time reduction of any task or process. Firms that strategically manage their supply chains in a way that enables them to provide products or services in a better, cheaper, and faster way always win. The importance of each dimension may vary slightly from industry to industry, but doing these three things relative to competitors is the pathway to competitive advantage. The only way to simultaneously accomplish all three things, the better, cheaper, faster, is to leverage the combined resources and capabilities of your entire supply chain. Supply chain management is the ultimate strategic weapon and the driver of differential firm performance. <music>